Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's A Wonderful World. Today in this video, I'm going to be continuing trying to upgrade my gear, uh, because once I've got some better armor and weapons, uh, then I'm going to be able to do more things. I'm going to be able to go uh, to try and explore some new places, meet some new people, fight some new bosses, and uh, yeah, things will generally get a, a little bit more exciting. But before I can do that, I need to be properly equipped. And uh, that's uh, easier said than done, to be honest, because uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty dangerous now, pretty uh, dangerous around here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the place I went before, uh, basically the underground uh, place by the hollow, uh, because there seemed to be a, a whole load of uh, good new ore uh, there. I kind of just tried uh, the last episode, kind of just digging randomly, and I really didn't get much luck. I really didn't find uh, that many of the, uh, the new ore, so I think... Uh, going down a, a place like this uh, might be a, a little bit more effective. Actually, was this the um? Actually, I could go down the uh, the big tunnel to the the underworld. Actually, I think was probably the the best place to go. And I can also have a good chance of trying to find a, a few more of the uh, the crystal shards because they would be handy as well. So yeah, let's uh, ignore this place because I can already see a unicorn going after me, and those things are lethal. So yeah, I do not want to uh, be getting close to <laughs> uh, close to that. Uh, yeah, instead, I'm going to head back this way a little bit. And uh, go down to the, uh, you know, the big tunnel uh, that I got going down to the underworld. Uh, I think that was the best place. And oh, hello, oh, there's a werewolf. There's a werewolf. Oh, he's pretty tough. He's a pretty tough werewolf. Of course, he's tough. Everything's tough here. All right, let's go and uh, let's go and stay back and let's use the laser gun. Aha! Stopped him in his tracks. Oh no! I'm running out of magic. I'm running out of magic. Ah oh, no no! And he's brought his friends. He brought his friends along. Right, I am out of here. I am out of here. Go go go! Quick! My glass door will keep them out. The best protection I have. My glass door. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Another werewolf. Oh, is it a full moon? I think it's a full moon tonight. That's pretty wild. The werewolf. Werewolves are coming out. Right. If it jumps up, I'm going to go and uh, try and use my laser gun again. Oh, there's a wraith. There's a wraith here as well. There we go. I was able to take out the wraith. The werewolf, though, is uh, sitting just underneath me down there. Right. If I go here, I should be able to fire directly down and then take it out. There we go. Every time it tries to jump, I'm able to, to knock it back out. And uh, I've run out of that, so now I can go and use my bow and uh, do a little bit of damage. Oh, I am so weak. I am so underpowered. And there we go. And I got a wolf fang as well. Ah, I'm sure that's going to be used uh, to make something useful. Oh, oh, no, another one, another one, another one. I think this is probably the worst night to do this. I've worked out their weakness, though. Their weakness is small jumps. They can't do small jumps. So if I go and gradually make my way down uh, like this, I should hopefully uh, be okay. Let's go and uh, get the old bow out then. And uh, let's go and try and finish off this guy. And uh, very carefully, uh, keep gradually making our way down. I wonder I wonder how deep they're all going to go. They do seem to be absolutely everywhere. It's got to be some sort of full moon then, doesn't it? All right, let's just try and get down far away and avoid that one. I can have uh, another health potion. Is it following me? Nope, I think I was able to, to lose that one, but uh, no doubt there's going to be another one around here. Oh no, I didn't lose that one. He's chasing me. I need to get up. I need to get up. Nope. <laughs> oh dear, I was taken out by the werewolf. Do you reckon it's a full moon then? Do you reckon it's a full moon? That's what's making them, them all come out. Let's go and uh, climb up to the uh, the top of my hotel and uh, let's have a, a little look out over, over the uh, the aerial. Uh, over the aerial? Uh, over the area, and uh, let's see if the uh, if it's a, a full moon. Then, oh there, look, you can see it in the background. I think that's the moon. It's kind of got a, a ring around it for some reason. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to be super, super careful. And what did I get? Is that an, a shard of ice? Oh no, that's my wolf fang. <gasps> it summons a pet werewolf. I can get a pet werewolf now. Oh, uh, hopefully RG doesn't see. Uh, RG, if you watch this, you're still my favorite. Anyway, let's go get myself a, a new werewolf, shall we? Hello. Hello? Um, it's bigger than me. <laughs> I've never had a pet bigger than me before. Are you okay, werewolf, just kind of standing here? Uh, I guess is it going to follow me? Maybe maybe it's going to be tough. Maybe the, the werewolf is going to be a good werewolf and fight away all of the other baddie werewolves. Um, I doubt it, but it'd be, it'd be good. It'd be a good to have a, a werewolf as a bodyguard. That's pretty cool then. At first I was a little bit upset because it's a full moon. It was making things very difficult. But now I'm a little bit glad, to be honest. And I should be able to take out this thing. It seems just to be like a, a set of armor jumping after me and get whatever it uh, get, uh, drops. And uh, yeah, now I can go and keep on going further down. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any werewolves around here. Fingers crossed. I hopefully haven't uh, just jinxed it. So there we go. I've got full health, I've got a werewolf friend, and I can finally uh, start getting down uh, even further uh, yeah, into this uh, mine and uh, hopefully start finding some of the uh, the better ore that I'm after. And oh, there's a skeleton down there. Uh, oh, I think, 
Did my did my werewolf kill him then? Did my werewolf actually go after him? I got a, a soul of light as well. Uh, I actually want some souls of light. I want to soon uh, try and start spawning in uh, a few of the bosses. And I think the first one I'm going to try and spawn in uh, is called the twins. And uh, to do that, I need to make a mechanical eye. And uh, to make a mechanical eye, I need some iron, I need some lenses, and I also need some souls of light. So yeah, finding the, the souls of light uh, will be very useful. But I found some more cobalt, uh, that's always nice. Uh, iron here, which I probably don't need, but uh, yeah, I can very rarely uh, turn it down. Uh, so yeah, let's keep uh, going even deeper and uh, see if we can find some more of these ores. Oh, here we go. Here's lots of things, uh, including a, an armoured skeleton. Is the werewolf. Look, the werewolf is actually doing damage. The werewolf is actually helping me out. That is amazing. Let's uh, let's leave the, uh, the werewolf wolf to go after him shall we and uh, let's go gather this up oh this is a uh, pearl stone blocks okay this isn't as good as i thought it was i thought it was uh, an ore at first but it's still pretty handy and uh, over here uh, we have something that i'm not actually able to to mine i don't think yeah i don't think that my drill is uh, strong enough so i just need to uh, remember where this place is uh, so i can come back uh, a little bit later on uh, once i have uh, some better tools i got a uh, another crystal shard there there seems to be lots of these armored skeletons all over here it makes me a little bit scared to drop down. Maybe I'll go around this way instead. Might be a little bit safer. And oh, here we go. What have I gathered up here? Will it let me mine it? It will. There we go. I got some more mithril. If I get a, a whole load more mithril, I might be able to make myself a, a mithril drill uh, or a mithril pickaxe. And then I can start mining uh, all of the, the best things. And oh, there's a soul of light right there. Uh, but there's a big pit of lava in the way between it. And oh, look at all those googlies all over the place here. <laughs> Even with my, my werewolf friend, I am feeling a, a little bit fragile. Maybe I'm going to go to the uh, go to the left rather than the right. We seem to be uh, in a good area uh, to get all of these special ore anyway, uh, so I guess I don't need to, to stick with that that first tunnel. There seems to be a big slime here though. Uh, what type of slime is this? Oh, it's, a, it's a toughie. It's a pretty strong one. It's a kind of glowing purple one. Quite a pretty one. Uh, I managed to get some, some things from it. And oh look! I found a wizard! I found a wizard! Alright, let's, let's uh, be careful. I don't want to get taken out by this skeleton. Please don't get me skeleton. There we go. If I keep knocking it back, uh, that seems to be doing okay. Oh, he's brought his friends along though he has brought his friends along well, let's go and use the laser here we go always get the high ground and then you can just shoot down on them and there we go i was able to <laughs> to, to take them all out well, let's go and put some torches around here uh, to light up the area a bit and uh, let's go speak to this uh, wizard then the bound wizard uh, hello what did he say Oh, my hero, he's saying. I think I saved him. I think I saved this wizard. Uh, want me to pull a coin from behind your ear? No? Okay. I guess we can buy things from the, the wizard. I don't actually really have any money on me. We can get a harp and a bell and an ice rod and a crystal ball. And uh, this is good. This is good. So I think that if I make a, another spare room in my house, uh, the wizard should uh, move into to my house. And then I can buy a, a whole load of new things from him. Uh, that was really lucky finding him down here because I was really going out my way. And uh, my werewolf does help me uh, but I think it only does one damage so it's not the the most powerful werewolf but it's better than nothing it's better than nothing and uh, what's this this is some some more mithril here as well this is exactly what I wanted I want to get as much of this as I can and is my wizard okay oh no they're going after my wizard they're going after my wizard quick werewolf we've got to save the wizard we've got to save the wizard wizard run away run away wizard oh no oh no okay this is dangerous right what I'm gonna do which might seem mean, but it's for his benefit. So I'm going to build the wizard into a, a little container. I'm going to safely lock in the wizard in here. And then hopefully uh, nothing's going to go after the wizard. So <laughs> I can come back and save him a, a little bit later on. Uh, yeah, once it's a little bit less dangerous here. Once there's a, a few less googlies. Anyway, uh, let's go and uh, get this mithril then, shall we? Uh, I want to get uh, enough to, to make uh, either a drill or uh, a pickaxe. So I do need quite a lot. Uh, but I seem to be getting quite lucky finding it at the moment. You never find lots of it, though. You can find it relatively regularly uh, if you're looking in the right places. Uh, but you never find uh, a big bunch of it. You only ever find uh, a few little pieces, which is a, a bit annoying. But, oh, uh, what have we got up here? Is this just iron or something? This doesn't look particularly spectacular. Yeah. Boring, boring iron. Who wants boring iron? I need to, to come down here with a uh, Spelunker potion. That will make uh, finding all of the, uh, the special ores uh, much easier. Uh, anyway, let's go and... Um, Head my way back this way, and hopefully some of the, the googlies that were there before have uh, decided uh, to move on. Yeah, this is where they were. I can see the uh, the um, uh, the light there, the uh, the soul of light. So let's go and uh, try and head my way back this way, and hopefully it's going to be a little bit safer. Now, there we go. Everyone's moved on. I can safely grab the, uh, the soul of light and uh, keep on moving down. So there seems to be uh, a whole load of these crystal shards. Uh, so I'm going to go and gather up uh, as many of these things as we can. Uh, let me go and grab 
grapple on here and break this away. There we go. I got myself uh, another crystal shard. I think this is once again the, the ore uh, that I'm not allowed to gather. I think this might be Adamanite. Adamanite, I think it's called. Uh, so yeah, I don't think I can gather that up yet. Uh, there's another crystal shard there though, and uh, I do need uh, 50 of these things. And uh, the reason I'm getting them, by the way, if you didn't see the last episode, is I want to make something called a phase saber. And uh, yeah, it's uh, basically a big upgrade from the, the phase blade, and it uh, looks really awesome. So uh, that's the reason I'm gathering all of them up. And uh, yeah, because I need 50, which is quite a lot, uh, just any time I see one, I try and kind of go out my way a little bit and uh, try and get them. There's uh, an illuminated bat here, and there seems to be some illuminated slimes around the place as well. At least you can see them coming. <laughs> they might be pretty deadly, but at least you can uh, you can see them getting closer to you. I think this is another crystal shard. How many have I got, by the way? I've got 14. I got 14, so I still got uh, further to go, uh, quite a lot further to go, but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. There seems to be an illuminated man down here as well, and oh, I'm getting very hurt. Let's go and uh, have the uh, the healing potion. Oh, I didn't have it. There we go, there we go. I just about uh, was able to, to have it in time here, though, but I think <laughs> my days may be a little bit numbered. Oh, there's something on fire coming after me here as well. Let's go and uh, try and get somewhere safe here, shall we? Uh, so I think, I think I'm getting better at fighting now, though. Uh, I'm learning, uh, I'm getting a bit more strategic. I think that because I'd got so strong uh, before hard mode, I was probably getting a little bit too confident uh, so that I wasn't really using many tactics. Uh, but now I'm uh, so much weaker than everything, I'm starting to, to try and be a bit smarter and, I don't know, just avoid things rather than just running straight at them like I uh, like I used to. Let me try and use the laser on the bat. My aim is absolutely awful, so I'm going to go and try going down here. But there's another one under me, underneath me. Can I avoid them for long enough, though? I've only got a few hearts. There we go. I was able to, to take out that one. And uh, I can go up here and try and get this crystal shard if I can. I think I might be getting uh, taken out here any second, so I just want to get uh, as many things as I can. Can I do any better with the laser? Nope. Looks like uh, the sword is the, the best way to take these guys out. A few more hits, and uh, I can also have my uh, healing potion now. So once I've taken this bat out, I can have my healing potion. So there we go. Uh, I think I might actually uh, be okay for now. There seems to be a lot of these bats, though, and the, the flying ones can be uh, uh, pretty tough because they're uh, a lot harder to avoid. I mean, they're not too strong, uh, but when there's a lot of them, it can get pretty dangerous. And yeah, we're getting a, another big group of enemies. I think instead of facing them, I'm just going to go and try and uh, back uh, far away off from them. So I'm going to ignore that shard for now and just try and keep going down, go down, go down, go down. And oh, look at all those ores. Look how many things I went past. I was taken out, uh, but I did a, a good reconnaissance mission there. I did a, I was scouting out to try and find where all of the, the best things were. Uh, but yeah, I got a little bit overwhelmed. But let's not worry about that for now because we need to make a room for our new wizard friend who is currently uh, still hopefully safe uh, down in the mine. And so what I need to do uh, is make a new room uh, fit for a wizard, and let's make uh, this can be the uh, the wizard's room here. Uh, so for uh, let's let's go and see whose room this is, if it is actually anyone. So uh, if you bring, uh, is it this screen? Uh, no, I think it's, uh, nope, that's throwing my sword, what am I doing? Yeah, I think if I press Y, and then here we go, go to housing, I can press Y and press, uh, show room flags, and it shows which room, uh, belongs to, to which person, so, it uh, looks like this room here is, uh, is free, actually, uh, this room does not belong to anyone, uh, so this can now be the wizard's room, so let's go and, uh, uh get rid of this random statue that I put down there, and, uh, let's go and get rid of this, uh, tiki torch as well, and, uh, let's make it fit for a wizard, so, uh, the first thing it needs is a, uh, a workbench. So uh, let's go and uh, make a workbench. So I'm going to need to go and uh, get a bit of wood. And uh, what type of wood would the wizard want? What type of wood would the wizard want? <laughs> There's a bit of a tongue twister. Right. Your challenge is, everyone, you need to say, what type of wood would the wizard want five times as fast as you can? You ready? It's okay. I'm going to do it with you. You ready? Three, two, one, go. What type of wood would the wizard want? 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 <laughs> it's really hard. It's really hard. I'm sure some of you can do it better than me. And if you think you can do it too easily, try doing it faster. You're obviously not trying to do it fast enough. What type of wood would the wizard want? <laughs> oh dear. It's easy enough to say it once. It's when you keep repeating it, does your tongue get very much so twisted. Right. Uh, let's go put down my Ebonwood workbench. And uh, it also so needs a table. I think it needs a chair as well. I think we need to, to put a chair in here for the... Um, uh, for people to move in. Oh look, we can do the uh, the same type of door as well. This is a uh, quite a cool uh, wizardy looking door, I guess. So let's go and uh, use the drill. I get rid of that door and go and put this door in here. There's my wizardy door. Uh, it's wizardy because I say it's wizardy. <laughs> wizardy is a fun thing to say. Right, let's try and say wizardy ten times in a row really fast. Wizardy, 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 wizardy. wizardy, wizardy. No, nope, that, that's a that's a tricky one to do as well. <laughs> right, anyway, let's go put this uh, chair down here. And uh, so I think now. 
Uh, this technically counts as a room, uh, so we should be able to, to move in here. Uh, but we want to we wanna decorate it a little bit more. We want to make it uh, look a bit more wizardy. So I'm not sure what we should do. Oh, there's a penguin in here as well, because why not? Uh, what should we do for the, the background then? We could shake up the background a bit. Uh, we should also add some, some pretty cool lighting in. Let's see uh, what sort of uh, lighting we could uh, do for, uh, for a wizard. I'm uh, kind of running out of inventory space here as well, to be honest. But uh, let's go and have a, a look down here. Uh, there's some chandeliers and things we could do. Jack-o'-lantern's not very wizardy. A chandelier could be uh, pretty cool actually. Um, there's book cow bookcases, maybe wizarding books. Uh, there's a chest we could put in. Uh, bowl, pink vase. Nothing really stands out as being very wizardy. Where's all the different torches? Oh, here we go. Uh, so there's a oh a star in a bottle. <gasps> oh, let's do a star. Should we do a star in a bottle then? So all I need to do is go and uh, get a bottle. Do I have any fallen stars on me? Uh, no, I don't. I need to go and grab a, a fallen star as well then. So let's go uh, up to here, uh, which should be where all of my fallen stars are. And uh, let's go. Let's go grab uh, a few of these so we can make a few. Oh, look, there's some some bottles here as well. So I can just go and uh, grab three of them as well. And uh, let's see what a, uh, a star in a bottle looks like then, shall we? Uh, let's go back down to my wizardy room. Oh, look! The wizard's already moved into this room, and apparently. Look, there's a flag here already. This is where the wizard wants to live. But sadly, that room is for Santa. And I know Santa's not here right now, uh, but he might return any day now. So I'm afraid you're going to have to move house, uh, well, move room, and uh, come and stay here. So let me go and uh, set it so that he has to stay here. There we go, assigned to room, there we go. So this is now the wizard's room. And uh, can we hang these bottles from the ceiling? Oh, we can! We can hang the, these bottles from the, the ceiling like this. Let's go and uh, put all of these up like here. And uh, let's go and get rid of these uh, torches uh, because they're just simply uh, not as cool as the uh, the stars in the bottles. I like them, I like them, they look really cool. I just I just definitely need a, uh, a better background, uh, but I'm not sure it would be good. I guess purple, I guess everything could be kind of purple because uh, that's the uh, the color uh, that the um uh, that he's wearing so I need to pick a good purpley block and it's a uh, very unorganized in here I know uh, I guess uh, obsidian might be the the best background to, to get uh, if we can get enough. Can you make obsidian wool though? Uh, let's go and have a look for all of the, the different types of wool that you can make and uh, if not we could use that same type of ebon wood and uh, have an, an, ebon wood, uh, an ebon wood background <laughs> wool. I'm saying lots of uh, tongue twisters today aren't I? Right so where are all the different wools? Here we go. So red brick, copper, silver, gold, uh, obsidian. Yeah you can make obsidian wool uh, but it doesn't look very purpley does it? It just kind of looks a bit scary. So let's not go for obsidian. Oh there's a uh, uh, iridescent? Iridescent? Descent uh, brick wall and uh, that looks um that looks kind of purpley. That that might be the the best one. I'm not actually sure how you uh, how you make that. You just need an uh, iridescent brick. Uh, which is a material, and I don't know how you actually get that, but I might need to uh, to look into that. That could be uh, quite a good background. Uh, there's like purple, like stained glass, uh, which we could use to to add some windows in. Uh, that looks. Oh, this looks okay. The oh, the adamite beam wall, uh, but we need adamite for that, and that's going to be very expensive. Oh, demonite. We could, seeing as Demonite uh, isn't actually so good anymore, now we got some more ores, we could try actually using the, the Demonite, because I have actually uh, quite a, a lot of this stuff. So uh, let me go and grab a, a whole load of this Demonite, and uh, let me see if I can make some uh, make some walls out of it, shall we? Uh, let me just go and uh, empty my pockets uh, a little bit, because I am getting a, a little bit full up here, and I always hate going around with a, a full inventory, because every time you pick something up, uh, you just can't pick it up, it just ends up lying on the, the floor. So let me just go and uh, empty out uh, one or two of these things uh, just to make a little bit of a room. See, see, I am kind of organised. You see, I do kind of know what what places these uh, these things go in. It's just I kind of got up to a point where I was just like, you know what, this chest is just for random things, you know. So I got a few very organised chests and then a whole load of things that are just randomly thrown in all over the place. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we make these uh, these demonite walls. Do I need to make them uh, into bars first, or can I just use the ore? I probably need to to make them into to bars first. I would assume. Uh, let's see uh, what it says. So that's uh, obsidian. Where's the the demonite? I can't actually see. It. I must have gone past it a load of times. Uh, yeah. So I need the. Oh, I need demonite brick first. Right. How do I make demonite brick then? <laughs> it's never easy. It's never easy. Oh yeah. So I just need the ore and ebon stone. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I think I've got a bit of ebon stone on me anyway. So let's go and make a, a whole load of the brick. 
and uh, then I can make myself a whole load uh, of, oh no, that stone wall, that's not what I wanted. I want the, here we go. Uh, no, I'm making bricks again here. Oh no, this is the brick wall. Here we go. This is exactly what I wanted. So let's go and make a whole load of this. Well, probably a little bit too much there, but oh well, it does not matter. It does not matter. At least I know I've definitely got enough. So yeah, uh, this can be a, a nice purpley background uh, for the wizard. And where is the wizard? Why hasn't he arrived yet? Is it because I am um, uh, accidentally, uh, well not accidentally, is it because I <laughs> locked him away? I don't know if he's, um, gonna stay down there. I have a feeling he will eventually make his way out, but I don't know if I need to go and uh, at some point uh, try and make my way back down and release the wizard because <laughs> he is probably still a, a little bit trapped down there. But before I do that, uh, I, I kind of don't want him to come up anyway because I want to get his room completely ready. Uh, so then when he arrives, uh, he's going to be all happy in his uh, new bedroom and he's not going to be, uh, yeah, he's not going to come up here and see that there's a big hole in the, the background. I want him to show up and be happy uh, with the, uh, the place that he's staying. I want it to be looking uh, all absolutely uh, amazing and uh, magical and oh I like this this is uh, even better than I uh, I thought it was going to be it's a, a nice shade of kind of grey bluey purple but purple nonetheless at least this way it won't clash too much and oh am I doing the wrong room Oh no, he's oh he's no his room's just been assigned to the the lobby <laughs> because um yeah because I basically destroyed the background of this wall uh, his room just got changed I was panicking then that I was just <laughs> doing this to uh, another random room but this uh, uh this should be okay so I guess uh, purple's gonna be the theme uh, so I can take some of those uh, shadow chests from upstairs maybe uh, put some of them in here uh, so then that way uh, they're all gonna be purple as well and I realize I completely went over the outside but that doesn't matter I just want to make sure I've not left uh, any gaps let's go and fill in the uh, the entire room if I just keep going over just in case I've missed anywhere uh, but no I think uh, I've managed to, to fill it all in uh, so let me just go and get rid of the uh, the few messy bits uh, on the outside like this and uh, then we should be uh, all good to go so I'm just going to go and very quickly see if I can find one of those um one of those shadows chests. I think somewhere here I have a chest full of sh chests. Yeah, there we go. That's all the, the gold and normal iron ones. And here we go. Uh, this is a, an empty chest here. And so if I go grab this, I can go and bring this one downstairs and uh, put it inside of the uh, the wizard's room uh, just like this. There we go. So I think we've done some pretty good progress, as uh, soon as we didn't even me uh, mean to be building in this episode. And uh, hopefully by the next episode, the wizard would have arrived and uh, will be happy staying inside of Treetop Hotel. Uh, but sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. Uh, as always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode once it is online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!